Hi and welcome to Berger Tools. Today I'd like to show you some examples of latch clamps. Latch clamps have a huge range of sizes, there's different applications, different materials such as steel or stainless steel and you'll see the full range on our website in the link below. But I thought I'd pull some examples to show you how, what they are and how they work. So this one here, this is GN851. This is a horizontal action and you can see that the force would be applied horizontally. So they are used to hold things shut and I am thinking things like hatches and covers and lids and maybe on things like containers they might hold a door shut. They work using a lever principle so they apply a great deal of pressure to hold the the required thing shut but it only takes a little bit of effort on the behalf of the user so they're very easy to use. Each one has a lever, it has a u-shaped bolt or perhaps a t-bolt or it could be your own tooling and there is a hook. The hook is attached to one side and the latch is attached to the other side and that's how, the, how it is held shut. You can see that this one is designed to be screwed in place. So what would happen is these two parts would be screwed down. The arm would be brought over the hook and then the lever pressed down. It's a little tricky when they're not actually attached. But as the arm is pressed down, you can see that there would be a secure lock and the they would not come apart through vibration. It's, it holds them very, very securely. So that's a fairly typical horizontal latch. This one, GN851.1, is doing exactly the same thing, um, but this time it is a vertical action. So this would be screwed in place and the actual pulling action is a vertical movement. The next example I have for you is GN852.3. This is a heavy duty type. It's much, much bigger, much, much more meaty, much heavier, but it, it works in exactly the same way. All these latch clamps have adjustment, and it's easier to see in this big version, adjustment here so that you can screw the nuts into exactly the right place and get a secure fit. This version here, you can see there are no screw holes and that's because this one is designed to be welded in place. The last example I have for you is GN853. This one is interesting because it has this, in this particular example, it has a T-shaped bar, but It has a screw thread inside, which means it can be used for any tooling that you prefer. And you can buy it without the bar. You don't have to buy that as part of it. Another thing that's interesting about this model, and again, it applies to quite a few across the range, is that there is a locking button. So this will not come open without the button being pressed like this. And then again, it won't close without the button being pressed. So this 100% will not come undone accidentally. It only will work when the button is pressed. So there we go. We have some of the examples of latches. And I hope you found this video interesting. And please carry on watching for other videos in, in the range. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.